Hello everybody, it's your boy, the almighty green talents coming at you with a video, which is of most importance. Um, and as usual, the quarterback throws an interception to me, which I intercept and runs the ball back for the score. Six points with the field goal being kicked will make it six or seven. Probably seven. I think I'm going to stick with seven. But anyway, just letting you guys know that, um, put that down right quick, that tomorrow, Sunday, against the Cleveland Browns at Cleveland, um, that's going to be a game that we got to keep an eye on when it comes to Pacific players. Um, from what I've been hearing in the in, in the last days of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the practice at the Norfolk Care Complex, that uh, Jaden Hurts has been throwing the ball and throwing everywhere against a pretty good team in the Cleveland Browns, which has a top five ranked defense. And, and, and last year, the Cleveland Browns ended the season as top five ranked. They got they got Javon Curse on the right side and on, on the left side. They got Miles Garrett, who is who's a three who, who's a three three or four time Pro Bowl, three or four time All Pro. And he also a defensive rookie of the year when he was drafted. So this so this is a top five ranked defense all around. They got they got some pretty good linebackers and pretty good corners. You know what I'm saying? So they from what I've been told, they said Jalen Hurts have been tossing the ball pretty well and, and, and Devonta Smith had caught every ball thrown his way. Um they also said that um AJ Brown AJ Brown has caught a touchdown by Jalen Hurts in the end zone over one of the defensive back. I think it was Dedrick Ward, who he caught the um, ball by. And the Cleveland Brown drafted a, 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 defensive, a defensive back this year as well. I think it's the, I think it's Sauce Money. I think Sauce Money is the guy. No, Sauce Money with the Jets. Um, they they drafted a defensive back this year in the first round, and so so the Brown got one of the best defensive one of the best defensive backs. Defensive back game in the NFL, just like we do with the addition of Bradbury. And we've already had Slay two years. They didn't play third year with the Philadelphia Eagles. So we got one of the best defensive backs. We got a pretty good linebacker unit. And we also got one of the best front four with the addition of Jordan Davis. Yeah, I said that right. Jordan Davis. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the, the Eagles are going to Cleveland. And... Last week, a lot of fans had, had some issues with the way things had went down. They didn't like the loss. They felt that the Eagles should have won a game against the Jets, which is accurate. We should have, but we didn't. But you guys got to understand. You fans got to understand this. I wouldn't. I didn't give a damn about the, uh, about the Jets beating us. I didn't care. As long as it wasn't the regular season, because we are eleven. We are eleven and zero against New York Jets in the regular season. Preseason don't mean a damn thing. The Eagles have also lost some games. The Eagles have lost some games against New York Jets in preseason. So, I think I think this is the Eagles' third or fourth time beating the New York Jets. Um, beating beating them in the preseason, we be beating them three or four times. We beating them three or four straight. But the but New York Jets has always beaten us in preseason. So you guys gotta understand this: preseason is preseason. Our most important uh, our most important um, mindset should be that the players leave there with no major injuries. No major injuries. So far, the Eagles have only survived, have only sustained minor injuries. Um, bomb, maybe a bomb knee or ankle or maybe hamstrings or soreness, tightness in their legs, something like that. These are, these, are, these are only muscle injuries. These are nothing to be concerned and worry about. So that's why... The, 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 the situation with Miles Garrett, now, now, now that's a problem. See, um, this guy had been injured three of the last four years that he'd been, he'd been with the Philadelphia Eagles. He, he, he injured 2019, 20, and 21. You know what I'm saying? He was drafted 2018. He came out, uh, no, I'm sorry. He drafted 2019, 19, because Saquon Barkley was drafted 2018. 2019. Was with Miles Garrett. 2019, he played. 2020, he got hurt. 2021, he got hurt. You know what I'm saying? So this year, it's a, it's a, it's a pivotal year for him because this is actually his fourth year. 19, 20, 21, 22. This is actually his fourth year with the Philadelphia Eagles. And right here, and right now, he has a hamstring injury. Now the knock on, on, on him is that he cannot stay. He can't stay injury free. I'm not exactly sure what what his what his situation is and why he can't stay injury free. I don't I don't understand it. 
I, I really don't understand that at all. So maybe somewhere along the maybe some maybe week one he'll be well, but that's what they're saying. He's gonna be well by week one. So that's what we got to look forward to, hoping that he can play week one and get hundred yards rushing and keep and, and keep getting between eight to hundred yards rushing every year till he get a thousand yards. Because he if he wants this if he wants this twelve to 30, twelve to fourteen million dollar a year contract, he's gonna have to play smart football and try to stay healthy at all costs. That's why they call it practice. That's why they call it um what they call it um after you don't after you don't um play the game after because the over they open give you two weeks off and two days after you come back that Wednesday. Wednesday if if you healthy and if you injured they want you to come in so so, so they can do uh, uh 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 what they call it where you can get checked out and be sure your be sure your injury is healing up. It's it kind of like that. It's kind of like um going to. It kind of like come back to to nurse your injuries. You know what I'm saying? So 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 so, so that's what it's really about. That's why they call it. That's why NFL all thirty two all thirty two teams have NFL doctors because some of these doctors are former doctors from hospitals, and so they study sports and study sports medicine and and, and and stuff of that nature where they can learn how to. Get the players healthy and get them back on the field as quick as possible. That's what it's all about when it comes to NFL doctors. That's why they got that's why they got NFL doctors for now. Physicians, NFL physicians, because these people let the let the team know how serious how serious how how minor injuries are and when they'll be back. And that's why they call them MRIs for so MRIs are S rays. They do S rays where the injury are. And then that's how they know. The minor of the injury or the substantial major of the injury. So you gotta look at all of that. It's all about keeping players healthy. It's all about making sure that they get on the field all 16 games. Now don't get me wrong, some players, I mean, that's why they call it bye weeks, because see, bye weeks are where you get your regimen. You get one week off and you come back the next week and practice. You get to heal mentally, heal physically. Get your mind off football, and when you get back the week after after your bye week, it's time to get time to go to work. That's what it's all about. So, but doing those doing them week one to week twelve and thirteen tricks of the game, it's about keeping yourself healthy. It, you know, because that and that's why they call defenses for because defenses will hit, and when they hit you and tackle you, you can get you can get you can sustain the minor injuries. Cause you're gonna get hit, but you but if the major injuries is where the problem um consists of. You got to be able to keep yourself healthy. That was all about. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the game against the Cleveland Browns because, you, like I said, this game is about keeping players healthy. That's why you got second stringers and third stringers for the Eagles right now. Third string, um, offense, third string defense. It's, it, it's not that very good. And um, that one of the reasons why we lost the game against the New York Jets because the third string should have been better than that. It should have been better. So they they already they already they already have released I think um five players this me did this week alone. They, they they released five players, they now down to eighty five. They cut five players this week. And now they gotta get back down to uh, uh um to seventy five players after this game. And then after seventy five, they got knocked down to fifty. Fifty to fifty three man roster, which means that um uh, twenty twenty two players are going to get cut. Twenty two players are gonna get cut. Twenty two of twenty two players are gonna get cut after after, after the third and final preseason game. Because you got to knock down to 53 men roster. You got to figure how many tight ends you're going to keep. How many defensive ends you're going to keep. How many wide receivers you're going to keep. How many defensive tackles you're going to keep. How many quarterbacks you're going to keep. How many linebackers. How many defensive backs you're going to keep. And most importantly, how many players are going to play for special teams. That's what it comes down to for those, those elements. Let me, let, me, let me recap. How many quarterbacks you're going to keep. You're going to keep. How many offensive linemen you're gonna keep? How many um running backs you're gonna keep? How many wide receivers you're gonna keep? How many tight ends you're gonna keep? On defense, how many defensive ends, defensive tackles, linebackers, and defensive backs? I'm sorry, nine and defensive backs. Cause between 
defensive backs and wide receivers and running backs, you're going to need at least three of those elements to play on special teams, even linebackers if possible. You know what I'm saying? So, so you you got, you got to have at least up to five special teams. Yeah, five fifteen teams. So yeah, you, you got to have two two guys on the outside going on the outside to make the tackle to whoever, whoever gets the ball. Then you got then you're gonna have five five linemen, five special team linemen with the with, with it being the long snapper. See one thing about the long snappers, long snappers, it's only one long snapper. Only one long snapper. Only one. You know what I'm saying? So they don't get replaced. Then you got but your kickers, but you do need two kickers. Cause in case one get hurt, and you got one, they got to take the place of one that's hurt. So you so you need two kickers, one to punt the ball, and one to uh uh, uh kick. You got kickers and punters. So you need one of the two. You need both of them actually. You need both of them. So that's what it comes down to. And we all know punters and kickers are special teamers. They part of the special team group, along with the wide receivers, running backs, and defensive backs. Or linebackers, whatever suit the team better with what they're going to use. So that's what it comes down to. So after that, like I said, 23, 21, 22, or 22 players will be cut after the third and final preseason game. And then you got two weeks before week one begins, which is September the 11th. You're going to play the Detroit Lions in Detroit, I believe, or I think it's at home. I, I think it's at Detroit. I, I, think, I, think, I think at the Eagles first. I think the Eagles first or home road game is against Detroit. It won those, but I do know in Detroit week one. So um, that's what, that, that really what it, what it really comes down to. We got to keep our players healthy. We got to decide who we're going to keep on this roster because you only can keep so many players on the roster. And then you got to think about special teams. Whatever players are cut, from all 32 teams, there are going to be teams running to get certain players that were cut to add to either that 50 man roster or add to the uh, practice squad. So that's what it can come down to. The Eagles probably going to go You can keep, the Eagles keep, can keep up to six. Back then, it used to be, um, it used to be four back then. And now, Eagles, they, they now keep up to six. Practice squad players, and, and they also can add one guy that, that they're going to protect to keep another team from getting. So they they they, they start doing that now. So that's one of the reasons why this game and the next game. I forgot. I, I think I think they can play Pittsburgh. I believe after the Cleveland game, I think it's Pittsburgh. It's either Pittsburgh or Baltimore. I could be wrong, but it's one of them two. One of them two teams, and we we three preseason the game. One or the other. I do know tomorrow's game against the Cleveland Browns will be at Cleveland. It's going to be two road games. I knew that much. We had one home game against the Jets. We should have won. We played the Cleveland Browns tomorrow, which is Sunday. And then we play our next week game. It's either Baltimore or Pittsburgh. One of them two. Or it could be some some other team in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the AFC. I'm not exactly sure because, it, because AFC teams play NFC. NFC play AFC teams in week in, in preseason games, we all know that's how it's been for the past 45, 50 years of the passing in the NFL. So, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, that's what I want to tell y'all guys. But I could call a lot of people, a lot of fans have been pissed off about the game against New York Jets. They should be sure they should have won, but your mindset is, is make sure that all players that, that they put on the field, especially the starters, that they are healthy, they are healthy going into week two preseason, preseason game and week three. Preseason game. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? So y'all I think need to stop <laughs> yeah, y'all need to stop crying out there. Stop crying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm I'm fifty one years old. I've been an Eagle I've been an Eagle fan going on forty this will be forty three years that I've been an Eagle fan. For this this is the forty third year. Been an Eagle fan since nineteen eighty. So for I'm sorry, for this is a forty two years. Forty two years. I'm, I'm I'm jumping ahead of the gun. This is forty two years. And I've been an Eagles fan. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I used to get upset back in, back in them days like that. But as I got older, I learned that football is football. The um the older they do, all third two others are gonna do what they want to do, despite what fans think and say. Some of some of some of them do listen to what fans have to say and use their ideas. And some teams don't give a fuck about what fans think and say. They 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 gonna do what they want to do to make their team better. That's what it's all about in the NFL. So y'all really, I think, really need to stop crying and stop complaining about what what the Philadelphia Eagles do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some players going to get wrong. The Miles Sanders, the the Miles Sanders ish issue 
was it, it, it's, it's, it's a minor problem because this guy had been injured last year and he got injured the year before. He only had one good season, and, and that was his rookie year, 2019, the year he got drafted, and he had like 800 yards rushing that year. But he also started off, I want to say he I, I want to say he, he, he was injured that year, but I think he might have had some some, some some things he couldn't get over at the time. I'm not exactly sure what it was. He, 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 might, he might have been injured. He might have had, but I don't, I don't think he was. I think 2018, the year he, he, he was not, he was not hurt. 2019, the year that he, that he was, was he, not, he was not hurt. 2019, and when he got, I mean, 2020, when he was hurt, and 2021, he was hurt. 2021 had a, 2020 was a, was a season ending, ending year for him. In 2021, he played and got hurt, and then came back after the bye week and got hurt again, and that kind of took care of his season. So, 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 so you probably can say he had back to back season ending. Um, years, and then now this year, and now this year, last week he got a hamstring injury, and so this is a guy who been a lot of people been saying that um he got a chip on his shoulder. Well, for a guy to have a chip on his shoulder, he showed getting hurt a lot, and this is a guy who battling for a contract, and so the way it's looking now, he might not get that contract regardless regardless of that because he can't stay healthy. So this year it's gonna be healthy for him. But what he need to do is to advertise himself that, that he can stay healthy without being hurt, without being hurt for the for the for the rest of the season. So that was all about for Miles Sanders. Everybody else is just doing what they gotta do, play their game, and try their best to stay healthy free. Um so that's what that's what it's really about. It's about keeping players healthy. Throughout these last two preseason games, going to week one, because we all know week one is gonna be September the 11th against Detroit at Detroit or at Philly. I think it's I, I'm not exactly sure where it is. I think it's at Detroit, I believe. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But anyway, I'm I'm pretty much I'm pretty much a stoked about this game against the Cleveland Brown, which, which comes on tomorrow at on NFL Network. I'm hoping that I can catch NFL Network game. Tomorrow, if not, I'll, I'll be down. Show to try try to catch a live stream. I'll do it some kind of way to watch the game, but but, but I'm trying to make sure that I watch the game tomorrow. So, so um, y'all guys out there, AJ Brown, I got my jersey. I got number ninety and I got number seven, Hasim Riddick. My other jerseys are locked up in storage, but I'm gonna try to go get some of them out. Sometime this year, probably I'm trying to see if I can get it before week one begin. But I, but I'll figure that out between now and then. But anyway, this is your boy, the Almighty Green Talent, once again intercepting a pass thrown by the quarterback, running to the end zone for the six point score with the field goal kicking will make it the extra point, make it seven for the victory. You guys enjoy your Saturday, and I will do a video tomorrow. Uh, trying to figure out did the Eagles win, did they lose, why they lost, what they could have done to win, and injuries. I'm, I'm trying to explain all that tomorrow if I can, possibly if not. Then my, my other Eagle content creators out there like BG, um, BG31, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, um, Philly Notion, um, Philly Mike, all those guys out there, 5500, LB. All them, and, um, all them guys out there, they gonna, they gonna put out there what happened in tomorrow's game against Cleveland. If I don't do it, they'll do it before I win. If not, I'll try my best to add on what they said and make it better for everybody's communication and situation. So other than that, enjoy your Saturday and look forward to seeing you guys Sunday afternoon or Sunday night when we play the Cleveland Browns. Hold it back, y'all. Peace out.